Hello class, it's very nice to see you again today. Miss Vera and I are just sitting here um, getting ready to read some fire safety books to you. This is National Fire Safety Week, so we would like for you to ask your mom or dad or any responsible adult in your household how to practice getting out of your house in case there's a fire. We do not want you to panic at all and start crying and running and make it very difficult for the firefighters to find you in case that there's an emergency. So we're going to be some fun books about fire safety and I'm sure your teacher also has some things planned for you. But we want you to know that we are thinking about you and we enjoy coming to your classroom, especially to bring fire safety books this week. We're going to read the story, Fire Engine Man by Andrea Zimmerman. This is a fun story for us to um, look at since it is Fire Safety Week. And we're going to share this book together. Let's get started. I love fire engines. Oh, look at that little boy. He has on a firefighter's hat and he has a fire engine. Wow, look like he has more than one on this illustration. Let's turn our page. I like to squirt down fires. I'm going to be a fire engine man. Let's turn our page. I will wear a special coat and boots and a hat to protect me. Let's turn our page. I will drive my own big fire engine. It will have a loud siren and flashing lights. It's probably going to sound like woo. That's probably how it's going to sound. Nice and loud. Let's turn our page. My brother can see me pass by. Oh, he's waving to his baby brother. Let's turn the page. I will hook up my hose. I will help the other firefighters fight the fire. Let's turn our page. When the fire is out, I will drive back to the station. Let's turn our page. At the fire station, I will have more work to do. Can you see some of the firefighters working hard? There's our young man cleaning the fire truck and some firefighters are exercising and some are doing food preparation. Let's turn the page. My brother could visit me there because it would be safe. He could sit in the fire engine. Oh, look at him sitting in his car seat with his bottle. Let's turn the page. I could make a snack for us in the fire station kitchen. He could see my bunk and maybe even take a nap. Oh, I bet you can guess which bunk is his. You're right, it's the one with the teddy bear on it. Let's turn the page. But if the alarm rang, I would have to go. Turn the page. I will always be ready. I will drive my fire engine. Let's turn the page. I will squirt down all the fires when I am a fire engine man. Let's turn the page. When my brother gets bigger, he can help. Oh, that's nice. Let's turn the page. He can be a fire engine man to the end. Our next story is Clifford the Firehouse Dog by Norman Bridwell. Oh, Clifford has done a lot of things in many of his books, but this time it looks like he's trying to be a firefighter. So let's get started with our story. My name is Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog, Clifford. Clifford is not the oldest in his family. But he's the biggest. Let's turn the page. Last week, Clifford and I went to the city to visit Clifford's brother, Nero. 
Clifford knew the way. Nero lives in a firehouse. He is a fire rescue dog. Let's turn the page. I asked the firefighters if Clifford could help them. They thought he was the right color for the job. Oh, look, he matches the fire engine. Just then, a group of school children came in for a fire safety class. Let's turn the page. Nero showed them what to do if their clothing was on fire. Oh, one of the safety rules is don't run. You stop, drop, roll. To smother the flames, you stop, drop to the floor, and roll until the fire is out. Let's turn the page. Clifford thought he could do that. He repeated the lesson for the class. He stopped. Let's turn our page. He dropped. He rolled. Mm, he made a little bit of a mess there. Let's turn our page. He rolled a little too far. Just then we heard the siren. There was a fire. Let's turn our page. Nero stayed to guard the children. Clifford and I ran ahead. He cleared the street for the fire trucks. Oh, he's probably good at that. Let's turn our page. Smoke was pouring from the top floor of a tall building. Clifford pushed the crowd back to a safe place. He saw some people in trouble. Let's turn the page. Clifford to the rescue. The heavy hose was hard to unreal. Clifford gave the firefighters a hand. Let's turn our page. But then he saw that the fire hydrant was stuck shut. Thank goodness Clifford was there to unstick it. Let's turn our page. They had to get the smoke out of the building. Clifford made a hole in the roof. The firefighters were calling for more water. Let's turn the page. Clifford found some. He helped clear the smoke away. There he is, clearing the smoke away. Let's turn the page. When the fire was out, Clifford made sure that the firefighters got out of the building safely. They were grateful for everything he had done to help. Let's turn our page. We gave some firefighters a ride back to the firehouse. Clifford was a hero. The fire chief made him an honorary fire rescue dog, just like his brother, Nero. Let's turn the page. And that's our last page we have some safety rules. So we want to know the number to the fire department. We want to know how to get out of our house. We want to have a meeting place for our family. Never go back into a house if, um, if it's on fire. We want to make sure our smoke alarms, uh, batteries are changed yearly. We never play with matches and we do not use the stove without adult supervision. The end. Those two books we read was so much fun, but Miss Vera and I have a song that we would like to share with you so that you will be able to remember what to do in case there's a fire. So you ready, Miss Vera? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. If, if you're, you're ever in a fire, don't be scared. If you're ever in a fire, don't be scared. There are things that you can do that will see you safely through. If you're ever in a fire, don't be scared. Woo, yeah! So you know what? We would like for you to maybe practice that song and sing it for your parents or your teachers. And you will know exactly what to do in case there's a fire. 
So until we meet again and we come into your classroom virtually, we want you to be kind, listen to your teachers, and take care. Bye-bye.